Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, I'm going to show you my lipstick collection. I love collecting lipsticks, I love collecting eyeshadow palettes. If you're not new to my channel, you probably already know this. I'm going to do my current MAC lip collection separately because I so want so much more matte lipsticks. I know it's ridiculous to some folk because we've only got one face, one set of lips. Do we wear lipstick every day? No, we don't. But there you go. This is by no means bragging. I just want to share my collection with you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. Don't know why I sang that, but it was in my head. Anyhow, let's move on. And sorry if I hurt your ears. This is my lipstick collection. So I am not going to bother putting them on. I am just going to swatch them on my hand and show you them. I don't have any makeup on because I have really dry eyelids, so I'm trying not to put any makeup on at the minute. Again, I have just washed my hair and I used the Percy and Reed Overnight Recovery Wonder Balm and I love it. I think my hair looks so fresh and just, yeah, I'm living for it, people. I was going to go for coppery tones um, in my hair, but apparently my hair could either look really muddy and not take it and it would be so much more expensive than this look. So I think I'll be sticking to the colour I have. Anyhow, I digress. Okay, I've got these little things that I haven't even tried yet. These are like Charlotte Tilbury little lipstick things. And I think I got them when I ordered Charlotte Tilbury items. So there is a Matte Revolution one there. And I do not know if it tells me the shoe of it. It doesn't. And I've got a kissing one. Anyway, we'll move on from those. So, you're going to be like, Julie, you don't like Revolution. You're always going about how much you don't like Revolution. Well, being the beautiful man that he is, my partner went and bought a Revolution advent calendar. And between myself and his daughter, he took items out and put them into her stocking. Because that is how beautiful a man he is. I mean... I was just like, oh, you're so cute. I didn't have the heart to tell him that I ain't a fan of Revolution, but there you go. So this was one of the lipsticks that was in mine. And it's called The Amazing Lipstick in the shade Crush. And it actually comes with an extra little bit of balm here at the end. And I wore it on Christmas when he gave me it. This is the shade. It's a very me shade. And I'll show you it on my hand. So this is the colour. So it's very nice and it's actually not drying so I don't actually mind it. So I tend to keep it in this little bag, in my handbag, so that I have a lipstick. So yeah, that's the first lipstick I have. So that's Revolution, what did I say it was? Is it on this part of it? The writing's so thing, isn't it? Amazing Lipstick in Crush. And I'm not sure if you can go and buy this like generically in the shop or if it was just part for a Christmas um, not a selection box advent calendar so that's the first one I've got some lip glosses in here too so I'm just including them because I don't have a collection of lip glosses in no particular order let's see so I've got two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks this is what they look like. Absolutely beautiful packaging. Amazing lipsticks. Now, I'll start with this one because this is my all-time favourite. This is one of the kissing lipsticks. And this is in the shade Bitch Perfect. And it is perfect. And basically, I'm putting this in my project pan because I want to try and get through a lipstick. And for whatever reason, I was doing the... Um, project pan with the panning ladies but let's just not go there so anyway I don't know if I'll leave this in my project pan but this is the shade here it's gorgeous it's super moisturizing again as well as you can see it is actually well loved and it is just such a beautiful beautiful color look at that it's gorgeous I love it you're going to see a running theme 
but I love this colour. It's so nice, it's so moisturising on the lips and I just love it and I would happily pick this one up again. The next one I have from Charlotte Tilbury is their cult one which is Pillow Talk and it is a matte but it's actually okay on my lips. I'm not a fan of matte lipsticks. I have this matte lipstick I have MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick, which is matte. I think that is the only two matte ones I do have in my collection. And they're okay. I can cope with it. But, like, see, liquid matte lipsticks, not, not a fan. So this is the iconic Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, my enemy, my... Uh... Oh, see, when you... I actually love singing. I do but I know I don't have the most brilliant voice. but So that's Pillow Talk there, this shade, and it's a gorgeous. Yeah, I would always love to have had singing lessons. So we'll pick up the main Oh, there's another one of these. So I actually have three of them. Okay, next up, I don't know what to pick. I'll go with this. This is like a lipstick, lip balm kind of product, and... I've had this for a couple of years. Um, Bruce picked it up for me when he was in America. It's called Sugar Bomb 2 Magic Collection in red. And I just love it. And I, it's sentimental as well. So, And it's like a nice sheer ready kind of toned balm. Love it. We'll always keep it because it's sentimental. It's all cracked and everything. The lid it doesn't even shut properly. But it's sentimental. Okay, ready, we need a tissue to get these lipsticks off. The reason I don't want to put it all over my lips as well and keep taking them off is with having my eyelids being really bad, I'm trying to avoid putting eye makeup on and taking it off because it's irritating it. So I don't want to end up having bad lips. Next up, we have got the one and only Chanel lipstick that I do own. And this is a Rouge Allure 162 in the shade Pensif. And I purely got this because I love the YouTuber Anna Sicconi, Jolie, Anna Sicconi, Sicconi. And it is a brownie nude. I love it. And I actually love it on. And it's really moisturising and it's just beautiful. And all the Chanel products smell divine. So yes, I've got this and I would happily pick this one up again too. So that's that one. Then I have got this mini little Clinique lipstick and this is called Nude Pop. And I think I got this in a gift with purchase sort of gift set. It's nice and dinky and I usually keep this one in this little bag in my purse as well. And of course it's a nude shade so Julie's all about that. Again, very nourishing and moisturising. And that's it there, the second one down. It's just so nice. As I, can, as, you, as I say, there's a running theme, isn't there, to what I like lipstick shade. I don't know if you can hear my washing machine, by the way. Next up, we have got this Bobbi Brown lipstick, which kind of looks fancy pants like the Chanel. And this is one of their lip colour Rouge Olivier Red in Carnation. So this is the colour here. I just thought it was slightly different for, for moi. But then I suppose when I swatch it, it doesn't look that much different, does it? But yeah, this is the shade Carnation. And as I say, it's like a peachy kind of nude tone. And yeah, I love it. Haven't worn it a lot, but I love it. Another Bobbi Brown one. This is one of their crushed lip colours. And this is in the shade Babe. So it's like this kind of colour. I wanted all of the collection of these, but again, oh, <gasps> look, it's got that on it. Because if you'll have seen my video already um, with a, my best friend Emily, we did the blindfold makeup challenge. And I think this is the one she picked for me to use on her. So it's covered in highlighter because she'd highlighter all over her lips. <laughs> Fun times. So this is the shade Babe. And as you can see there, this is more of a pinky toned 
lipstick so it's lovely and again I need to use that more and it's literally got like Becca opal highlighter all over it next up in my new particular order I have got another Bobbi Brown one this is the first ever Bobbi Brown lipstick I bought and I actually had two of them and I used up one of the other ones because oh god a good few years ago maybe 2002 10 or 11 my friend bought me one of the gift sets that comes out at Christmas and it had a uh, eyeshadows and lipsticks and one of the lipsticks in it that I loved was called blue raspberry so this is the creamy lip color in blue blue in blue raspberry and I love it it is so moisturizing it's so beautiful it looks brand new actually doesn't it it just proper looks brand new it's probably because as I say, I bought two of them. They were out of stock for ages. And I need to start using this again. So that's it down there. It's just like a nice neutral, but it's got like pinky raspberry gorgeousness with it. So I don't like that as a scent. But love it. I'm loving it. I might need I think I'm gonna need more than two tissues. Okay, so let's rub that off my end. Next up, what do we got? Oh, I found a MAC one. We're not going to deal with that. Creeping in. Uh, the most least, latest one is this uh, Makeup Forever one, which I got in my latest in beauty. And this is in Artist Rouge Cream in C211. C211, I guess that's the name of it. It's a tiny little one. And again, it's a nudie shade. And I'll try and just do smaller swatches, um, but it's quite a dark shade actually. And I actually don't know, did I try it on in the video? Can I remember? The brain made me like a sieve. So I haven't really given this a go yet. I might actually just pop this into my little bag that I take in. Join these with me. I can't even speak to it either. Then I have this. This is a lip gloss. Coconut flavour with sunscreen protection, Malibu 30, SPF 30. I got this from Wacky World of Lottie and I love it. I love the smell of it. Oh, and as I say, it's just like a light little gloss, but it's got your SPF in it. So that'll be handy for when the sun decides to shine. Next up, I have got the Fenty Beauty. Oh, I love this. This is the Fenty Gloss in Gloss Bomb. So this is like the universal one. I want to get the other one. I picked this up on Depop. I absolutely adore it. That is it there. Oh, it smells delicious. And I love it so much. I like wearing it on its own and I like wearing it over lipsticks. When I find one of the particular uh, Bare Mineral ones, sorry, pins and needles, I will show, tell, let you know which one that is. Is it sticky on? It's a little bit sticky on, but I don't mind that, you know? Really don't. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, baby. She goes for singing again. This one, I think I got this from Kimberly Annan in a box swap, and sorry, Kimberly, I haven't used it yet. My bad, but I will. Uh, this is a Model Zone. Cheat Day Lip Glaze. Does it say what colour it is? Meringue in the shade Meringue. So let's get a wee swatch. Oh, baby. Dolls. So this is the shade of it. It's not really coming up very well in a swatch, to be fair. Mm. I guess it's a kind of rose goldy tony. Smells good. But it's not swatching very well, so I have that. Then I have a yacht. I think this is also from Kimberly. This is MUA Makeup Academy Ultra Sparkle Lip Topper. So it's proper gold. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear this actually, but anyway. So it's like, it is a gold topper. I don't know. I might have to give this to my friend's wee girl because I think she'll actually use it. Because that's pretty bold. You never know. You never know. I might actually... Oh, that model's own one. Like, proper dries in. Look, I can't get it off my hand. 
Okay, next up. Oh, they don't make this anymore. I'm gutted. This is a Tanya Burt lip gloss from when she first ever brought out her makeup range. And it's in the colour Chick. Or Chic. 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 I love it. It smells like Chew It's the sweet. Oh, I freaking adore it. And I, honest to God, I love it on my lips. It's this lovely, beautiful gloss. And I just, it's probably been binned, but I can't, I can't bin it because I love it. It's just make it anymore. Why, Tanya Burr? Why? God damn. And it's, it does, it smells like Chewitz. It just reminds me of Chewitz sweets. So we'll pick up the neighbors. That isn't even the words. But you're like going to stop singing, Julie. I have, oh, that's Mac too. Okay. I have this lipstick here. This is a sleek lipstick. This is from Kimberly Annan or a box swap. And it's called Peaches and Cream. So as you can see, it's a very orangey toned peachy lipstick. Oh, very orange indeed. So that'll be fun to try out in the summer. And that's the one that I used on Emily um, for our blindfold challenge. Then I have this Ultra Satin Lip Colour by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop in the colour Dreamy. And it looks like so. It's okay. I'm not a big fan. I feel on my lips, It's even though it says it's Ultra Satin, I still find this pretty drying. But my favourite one of the collection that I got from Senior. All the writings come off of it, but this is Kathleen Lights as well. And this one's called Moonchild, and this is a gloss. <gasps> Smells amazing, and I love it. Look at that. Look at that gloss, I love it. This is so nice on. I really, really love it. So if I was to order from Colourpop, I'd go for the glosses. I wouldn't go for the satin ones or anything else because Literally, they're just not my bag. My hand is ruined with that model zone one. Tissues. No wonder I get through so many tissues. Okay, we're getting there, peeps. We are getting there. Kinda. This is a Chanel lip gloss in Rouge Coco Gloss 714. And I was sucked into buying this because the woman put it on me and I was like, oh, I'll have that as well. But I kind of wish I hadn't bothered to get it. It's all right. It's all right. It's a brownie sort of gloss. I think it's okay maybe for like wintery months, but I definitely shouldn't have bothered getting it. I think I'm going to have to move on to this hand because this hand's ruined. <gasps> I have two of these and I love them. I highly recommend if you're going to buy other than a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick or a MAC lipstick, get yourself a YSL Volupte Shine, Rouge Volupte Shine lipstick. They are amazing. So I've got this one here. This is in number eight. And I picked this up from Glambots. And I love it. It's weird using my left hand. Oh, look, it's beautiful. YSL products smell Divine, they smell like watermelon. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Get yourself one, seriously. Mother's Day's coming up. If you're a mum, put it on your list. And number 44, this I got from the YSL counter. Oh my god, I literally just want to eat it. This one's my absolute fave. Look, that's that one. Oh, they're so sheer and love lovely, and I love it so much. I literally, me and my friend Dawn, the first sort of YSL, we became obsessed with it. I don't know probably how many we've bought in our time and I don't even know if they still do it. It was one of the glosses and it's got apparently got real bits of gold in it. I think it was number 55 or something. Oh, we were obsessed with it. Every time we could get away to Glasgow or something, we bought it. And then I discovered these and they're brilliant. So good. So moisturising. Another YSL I have, and again, this was a, a, what do you call it? What's the word? Mm, 
is on the tip of my tongue, but I don't know what it is. Impulse. This was an impulse buy. This is a YA sale. Can you see what it says? It's a Volupti liquid colour balm. And I think I'd seen Fleur de Force um, talking about these. And then I decided to pick this up. And I don't know what shade this is. Does it say? Number 12. And I will just swatch it here for you. So it's this one up here. Again, it's a, just a sheer balm. And I tend to keep this in my bag as well. I'll put this one on to show you. Like it really is sheer. You can't really see too much colour. So if that's the kind of lipstick you want where you don't want to pack a punch but you want to have something on and it's really moisturising your lips, it actually feels like water is going into your lips and making them really absorb. So you're probably saying, why was I like, mm, is a thing me buy? But it's just because it's not my favourite, so I don't know why I got it. What I mean is I was sucked into buying it. So I usually keep this in my little pouch as well. And I tend to actually use these in conjunction. So I'll put this on and put this on top of it. I won't leave it on. Okay. Another Tanya Burr one here. This was from her... I don't even think she makes cosmetics anymore. Um, but this was from one of her collections too. This is called Big Kiss. And this is a ready-toned lipstick. And I don't really know why I bought it, to be fair, but there you go. So it's that shade of red there. I'm not sure I suit red lipsticks and they're a ball ache to put on. But we've got it. Okay, okay. And then I have... This is my most recent one. I got this in a box swap with the lovely Jill. That is my top. It is a Tarte Lipsy Lip surgeon to power pigment intense sort of lip pencil and both myself and jill do not like matte lipsticks so it's a nice sort of peachy toned sort of lippy and that's it here lovely lovely goes in with my theme of colors so she did well and this is also new to me and again i saw What's her name? Poppy Rawson's video and she was using this. And I thought, I've never tried anything by Iconic London and I like the look of it. So this is an Iconic London plumping lip gloss and this is in the shade Love Struck. I'm not sure if this is the one she actually had though, so I think I may have picked the wrong one. And it smells a bit pepperminty, I suppose, because it's got that plumping action in it. I don't know if you'll actually see it. See, it's quite clear but this is the colour of it so again I think you would probably wear it over something so we need to give that a good go I'm hungry I need to go and have my lunch right now we are at all the bare minerals some of these might be dupes so we'll have a look I've got a couple of lip pencils but these are all bare minerals because I have the old collection and the new collection and some of them are the same so this one here is called XOX and this is one of my all-time favorite ones so it looks like this and no surprises there it's a pinky toned nude okay then we have got Crave which is from this year's collection and it looks like this and again it's a nude tone but this one's more of a pinky tone, this Crave. I actually think Crave is the one... Where's my fancy gloss? I think this is the one where I wear this and this over it. And it's a lovely combo. Yeah, it is. So I like that. That's Crave. Then we have got Sex Pot, which is from last year's range. This is more a neutral, sort of brownie, skin-toned sort of colour. So that's more of a brownie undertone than the pink or peachy theme. And then we've got Heaven. Oh, go on, it's right there. And this again is a more flesh toned one. But it's got a bit more of a peachy, pinky undertone to see than this one above. Sorry, I'm just, I'm at 24, so I'm conscious of it now. Kitty. 
Again, Newt. <laughs> What's new, pussy cat? Oh, 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 oh. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely peachy tone. You're probably like, why do you need all these different colours? No, are any of these the same? Then we've got nudist. Again, a neutral tone. Again, this is more of a camely sort of browny colour, I would say. So I think they would be good lipsticks if you had a more dramatic eye so that you had a muted lip. Then we've got Notorious. That's it there, this one up here. So that's a nice kind of browny, pinky toned. So they are, they are different. You know what I mean? I know they do look... Hidden. Now, are any of these matching? Oh, hold on a minute. I'm confused. Crave, did I say Crave? Well, this one's called Crush. I thought it was this one. And that's the thing we sort of toned one. That's the one up here. So it's like a peachy, peachy, witchy tone. The Bare Minerals lipsticks, these are the Jane, I think they're Jane Nude ones. This one's in Honey Bun, and this one is another sort of brown toned one. But it's slightly darker than this brown toned one you see, so it's like got that caramelly undertone. Last two, this one is called Panko. This one's the brightest one, and I think this is the one that I'm not so keen on on myself this one's called panko oh, just got it all over the thing and then this one's called tutu and this one's another sort of peachy pinky tone and we'll just put that under panko oh look at that i like that one so that's it that is it for my lipsticks i'm going to do my mac lipsticks completely separate but if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell button, enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway. I do pre-record, so we might even be at 1000 by now, but I'm a realist. It might not be. And if we have, then I'm sure there'll be other giveaways in the future. But if not, enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway, because it is a good one. Let me know in the comments below any lipsticks or brands of lipsticks that I don't possibly have here that you suggest that are moisturizing lipsticks not matte or they're matte but they're not drying not liquid lipsticks though because they really just don't do it for me i just i just don't get on with them and of course you know my shade range matches me top anyway guys take care of yourself bye <laughs>